Hello everybody, it's Emily and today I'm going to be doing a study tips, revision, motivation and all of that kind of stuff. This is a collab with Lily May, my good friend here on YouTube. The link to her channel will be in the description, so after you watch my video, make sure to go and subscribe to her and watch her video. Her videos are absolutely amazing and I am in love with her channel. I'm doing this video because it's kind of near the end of the year, not really, but I just decided to show you what I do to study and hopefully this gives you some inspiration or motivation to do some revision and studying. So without further ado, let's just get started. So the first thing I would like to talk about is an app. This app is called Quizlet and it helps you to make like quizzes out of different topics you're doing. So for me, I have been using it to do Spanish. You can make like cue card kind of things where basically you put the English on one side and the Spanish on the other and you can match them up. It's a lot easier than studying like with like paper and stuff. It's so much easier as you can do it on your phone. So you could do it, I don't know, on the way to school or I don't know, just you could do it without being at home. And it's actually really been helping because it helps you to memorise different sets of notes and topics and stuff. So the first thing that is going to help you with revision are notebooks. Notebooks are really good to keep your notes in and I use mine all the time during revision. I have ones that have different sections for different topics or subjects and these are really good for organisation and they make things a lot easier. Highlighting is a good way of revising because highlighting keywords and information makes it easier to look back over your notes in the future and see all the key information that you've got to learn. A good thing you can do to help you get motivated while you're revising is make a music playlist. I have a music playlist that I listen to when I'm revising. This helps me just to kind of relax and kind of focus and I would really suggest getting one. You could use Spotify or for me I just use music on my phone, the app. memorizing things is using sticky notes. You can write down all of your key facts and things that you think you're going to forget and you can write them down on sticky notes. And I have a whiteboard in my room that I stick all of my key notes to. I also stick post-it notes to things like my laptop, my light and my mirror and that is because I use them things often so I remember the stuff that I've written down. Now when you're revising you should only be revising in about 30 minute like chunks, but I guess it's up to you about how your attention span is. But for me, personally, I revise every 30 minutes. Like, I go, I do 30 minutes, then I have a break for 10 minutes, then I do another 30 minutes, and I do about three sessions of that a night. And it kind of helps, and you can get focused, and you'll be able to do revision. Another quick and easy tip is just to make a timetable for your revision so then you will know when to revise and how long you should revise for and what subjects to revise. This just makes things a whole lot easier and it helps you to get in the zone and <laughs> revise. Cue cards are like the real life version of the app Quizlet. You can write down words that you don't get the meaning of and then write on the other side the meanings. And for me, I just get my sister to test me on some words and it's kind of fun. So maybe you should try that. When revising, I always like to have drinks and I like to eat and stuff because it kind of helps me to relax and be motivated and focused. Um, so I have been making this smoothie which 
I have been drinking a lot more surprising to be honest. So I think I'm going to show you a recipe on how you can make it so you can use it while you're revising or just to drink in your spare time. So without further ado, let me just show you how I make the drink. So I'm starting off by just cutting up strawberries and putting them into this bowl that I'm going to wash all of the fruit in. I put raspberries and strawberries and bananas into my bowl and kiwis. After I had washed all of the fruit, I then put them into my smoothie maker. I then added some raspberry and apple juice and just blended the smoothie and this smoothie is so simple to make and I hope you guys make it because it tasted so amazing. <laughs> And then the final thing that's going to help you get through revision is really unhealthy food. Like, I eat so many sweets and, like, chocolate when I'm revising. So a key thing to have is sweets and chocolate. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys all do well in your exams and this video gives you inspiration and motivation. And remember to subscribe to Lily's channel and her channel and video will be linked in the description so make sure to check them out. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye.